Welcome to my channel, Keeping It Real, Alicia Nelson. Tonight, I would like to formally introduce Aaron George, CEO of Inner Sanctum Entertainment Limited. Good night, Mr. George, and how are you tonight? Good evening. I'm fine, thanks. How are you doing? I'm fine. Mr. George, can you briefly tell our listening audience about yourself and what you do? Um, well, as you just uh, introduced me, so um, greatly as the CEO of Inner Sanctum Entertainment Limited, we are a company that endeavors in both uh, traditional, non-traditional and alternative forms of entertainment, be it from bouncy castles and all sorts of fun for kids, all the way up to event management and mm -hmm. promotion to studio recording, instrumental creation, ads creation. We encompass a wide range of uh, different forms and types, avenues of entertainment. Wow, that sounds like a large field. Because what I'm getting here is entertainment, a little studio production, mm -hmm. as well as some more entertainment on the side. Am I correct? Exactly. Exactly. So I must say it's a pleasure to have you tonight on, on my podcast. It's a pleasure and to be once, here. Yeah, it's a pleasure to have you. <laughs> and I know once you are on my podcast, I must ask you some questions, you know, more further no problem at all. <laughs> about, about your company, you know, what inspired you, what gave you the drive every day, you know, to pursue exactly what you're doing here today. Right. So what year was Inner Sanctum Entertainment Limited started? All right. So unofficially, because there's two, there's two um, dates that we started. There's the unofficial date and there's the official date, as in the date that is on paper in the uh, legal affairs office. Yeah. Unofficially, um, I would say we started around 2006. You know, we began by um, doing recordings for guys in the area. Yeah. You know, we had like a Lyman spot that we would, um, the guys would just come around and, you know, we would write music, do some freestyles, we yeah. would beat on tables and buckets and that kind of thing. Yeah. And it yeah. slowly evolved into where, you know, people started getting computers and then we would install the software and the computers to do recordings like that. And wow. it evolved all the way into um, our first studio was, you know, at a 10 by 12 room where we wow. had a little booth in it and okay. we um and that is where we actually named the company and started moving in the direction of a, a limited corporation so uh 2014 would have been when we eight years later would have been when we officially okay. registered the company and you know yeah. got all of the documentation to back it up and so on wow. so 20, 206 2006 and 2014. Wow, so I understand. Unofficial and official. Correct. I like the history of the company itself. Let's talk about humble beginning, you know? Showing yeah, yeah, people yeah. how to move from zero to something, you know? Like correct. Oprah. You understand? Correct, correct. So I think that 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 for sure inspires me. Right, right. That that is actually the musical part of the um company. The right. Children, um, the children events and event promotion started. We also do some catering as well. So I don't know what part of entertainment that is, but see, I guess you could put it under event management and event preparation yeah. and so on. Before, but yeah. um, mm -hmm. that started around 2004-ish. So we have been doing the kids entertainment for a while now. Yeah. Right? Yeah. And um, we basically just integrated that into the company. And then, you know, we had some meetings and we were like, why don't we expand even more into other things? Because there is room for other things. Wow. And, you know, yeah. it would just be a matter of a slight investment to expand the company exponentially. Yeah. So that is how that happened. Wow. And I think that answer you give me tying a little to my second question to you. And my second to um, question to you, uh, what are some of the initial projects of Inner Sanctum Entertainment Limited in the beginning? What would it be some of your projects that would have helped you to, you know, build in this journey? You understand? And I know okay. you mentioned entertainment and then you mentioned entertainment with the children too as well. 
like give me some some name of some project that you would that would have helped you know push this project how to stay afloat all right if that makes sense to you yeah. yeah, I well, I think I, I understand. <laughs> Let's see if my answer reflects that. Yeah. No um, so I would say where there's a need, mm -hmm. you know, and someone is willing to supply that need or fulfill that need, yeah. you have uh, a possible or a potential for a business. Yeah. Um, back in 2004, we were we were thinking about what could we invest in to essentially turn our financial situation around. Yeah. And I have always been one to have ideas in terms of business-wise, right? My dad is a businessman, so he has been doing a lot of that for years. And I don't know, probably some of it rub off on me. Yeah, it happens. It happens. It happens. So I had a lot of ideas and um, the first one that I came up with, which was totally out of our budget, <laughs> was yeah. a helium pack. Wow. And um, it would have been where, you know, you could you tie, you get in this balloon filled mm -hmm. and you tie it onto a harness and, you know, people kind of floating around and that yeah. kind of thing. And that evolved into the bouncy castles wow. where we would have been the same kind of jumping around, yeah. bouncy. So it kind of um, evolved into the bouncy castle, which would have been a more um, cost-effective uh, venture. Yeah. So that's how the bouncy castle started. And then, you know, we would have gotten some uh, gigs because at that time, now, you know, there's a lot of different bouncy castle companies, but at that time, there were no bouncy castle companies in point in South in Trinidad. Yes, exactly. And I think right, so we would, area too, exactly. Well. exactly. Yeah. So we would have been going all around South and we even oh. broke into the um, central, northern, extreme. Like we have clients from Toko that get yeah. us for the Bouncy Castle. Wow. Gig, and as far as Ikaka. So, you know, we kind of went all over Trinidad with this thing East West Corridor, Digo Martin, Arima, all over the place. Yeah. Right. So we we would have started the Bouncy Castle and then that enabled us to do a lot of other things off of it because we kind of crushed that mm -hmm. industry, right? And we started with the smallest Bouncy Castle that you could have bought at the time, maybe, I want to say maybe eight by eight. Yeah. Right? So it was a very tiny Bouncy Castle. Yes. And then, you know, it evolved into us having a fleet of Bouncy Castles. Mm -hmm. We have bouncy, We have slides to connect to the Bouncy Castles. We have... You know, as I said, popcorn and face painting, clowns, and it turned into an entire, we could basically supply for an entire event for kids, whereas we were just the bouncy castle in the corner, you know, yeah. evolved into the entire event now. Yeah, a lot of event management and business ideas are into play, from what you were Ex telling me. Exactly. Yeah. And, well, as I explained earlier, with the studio, mm -hmm. we would have started with... Um, we would have started with the just you know recording off of our laptop yeah. in someone's gallery or whatever room we could get or do it downstairs yeah. you know and then well that would have evolved into you know us getting some songs on radio when well this is in 2014 fast forward yeah. we had some songs that would have played on radio and then it was the rest was history from there we did some uh youtubers background music we did some uh cinematics type music for podcasts online as well wow um mm -hmm. so we have we have been doing we have been pushing our boundaries and and pushing our limits as much as possible ever yeah. since and I, I think moving forward you know that is what we would continue to do yes. to ensure that you know we stay ahead of the i guess ahead of the game and the competition yes. and so on exactly and with technology it makes it a lot more easier absolutely you know. my word <laughs> and i think that is how we're able to interact with you via technology too as well you meet other people with similar business idea and who are growing out here and you know you can network you know build yes and you never know yes. what can happen you understand that is the truth yeah yes. that is the truth exactly moving on to my next question i think i know the answer for this but i will still ask <laughs> because you know it's good to tell the audience not even to as well. We will have young people aspiring to follow in our journey too as well. Because you know, 
you know, be black individuals, you know, sometimes we need to see other black people too as well pursuing, you know, because I'm seeing oh. white, you know, different races. But sometimes it's good to promote ours too as well. And maybe a young black guy, you know, sitting and say, hey, you know, I could do this. Just starting from, you know, the road, you know. I don't, you know, Absolutely. just really move. And that is how Empire started too as well, you understand? He started with his music, you understand? He was in drugs, but what I say, he started somewhere and he that built it a big empire. And you never know, your empire could build into something huge, do you understand? Exactly. Well, that's the idea, that's the plan. Exactly. <laughs> I, think, I think you're going on the right track. So this is why I'm going to ask you this question. What do you love most about your job? What you do? That is a really good question. Yes, it is. And... I answered that question very recently in a conversation I was having. So, yes, for me, I am I I really 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 love music. Yeah, but I have realized that I really 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 love business as well. Like just yeah. business on the whole. Mm -hmm. I also really really love entertainment on the whole. Like not just the not just the actual getting fans and you know getting the yes. attention of it but i love i love going through the drafts of the contracts with the lawyers i love reading through the contracts i love creating stipulations i love learning about different entertainers i love the networking aspect of it i love yes. the stories that different people have i just i just enjoy mm -hmm. the different parts of the business entertainment and the music you yes. know, for me, I can't give you, I really, really can't give you one answer just yet. I think my yeah. journey is, it, my journey hasn't told me which one I love the most yet. Yes, but that's yes, the yes. three things at the top of my list. I love music, I love business, and I love entertainment. Yes, yes. And I, <laughs> I, I understand where you're coming from. I also love the process. Like, I, 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 I don't know what I would do if there was a Me button too. that I could press yeah. and everything would finish. It just adds for me. So that when I look back, it's a really awesome memory that I've created, yeah. you know, within myself. You know, that's just my personal thing. That doesn't have to do with anybody else or anything external. It's just I like to look back at things and be like, wow, I remember when I was doing this and I had this struggle and I, how I overcame it, you know. So then even even if someone else is going through it, I could just be like, okay, well, this is what you need to do yeah. because it happened to me already. And so I went to the board and um, I told them that, you know, we have this amount of likes on Facebook and we haven't been utilizing it within the last eight months or so and that is unacceptable you know so we need to mm. move forward with more content and um, to answer your question that's what we're going to be doing um, in response to that we're going to be having some interviews on there with um, persons of interest we're going to be having some more music coming out we have a lot of music and we haven't been putting it out be because obviously, you know, we're waiting for the best time strategically to put it yeah. out. And uh, we're going to try to expedite those processes. Uh, we have two events that we are going to be hosting. One is a general in a Santa Entertainment concert where, you know, different entertainers that are associated with us um, are going to be performing. Mm -hmm. And then we are going to have a specific um, concert for Kyle Tone, which is... Uh -huh. um, one of our artists wow. where he is going to um, launch his album and also put out some of his music and perform some of his music. Wow. Um, Kyle Tone, by the way, is me. I just like talking about him in the yes, first person. <laughs> wow. I feel right. <laughs> so, yeah. So I'll be putting out some um, some additional music and we'll be, you know, doing different promo runs um, with regard to that. You know, it's going to be some more or less contemporary R&B style, yeah. laid back, chill music. Yeah. And um, on the other front, we're going to be doing more um, uh, recording or videographing of various events. Um, some would be... Um, loosely associated with us and we just probably have like participants in terms of like local competitions, um, yeah. football matches, cricket matches, you know, various cultural things that would be happening in uh, yeah. different communities and so on. So we're basically just going to try to populate the page with more content, get more eyes on us. And I think um, that is what we'll be doing at least for the foreseeable future. We're going to be doing some expansions on the studio as well as well the recording 
uh, the music recording studio as well as the video recording studio. We're going to be doing um, a lot of infrastructural enhancements and um, renovations and so on. So I yeah, that, that should be the rest of 2019 into 2020. Very good. I hope really to work with you all. Seriously, because it sounds like, you know, yes, it seems like, you know, you know what you're doing and definitely you know exactly where you're going to carry your company. Right? Yes, yes. So my, we have some really awesome plans. Yes. So my final question to you is, what is your encouragement to young people right now who may want to pursue maybe a career in the entertainment field? I would say... And my mom always says it, and it's probably one of the core values of the company. As long as you could dream something, you can achieve it, right? If you can't even fathom an idea, you can't yeah. think about going to the moon, then it is unaccessible, it is unattainable to you because it's not within your scope. Something needs to be within your scope for you to be able to achieve it. So it means that you need to widen your scope, you need to think outside of the box, you need to train yourself to think outside of the box. You need to train yourself to think where other people yeah. are afraid to think. Other people would yes. be, they would limit themselves to what they can see, their circumstances. You need to be able to let your mind lift you out of your circumstances, take you beyond your circumstances. Yeah. And that's where it begins. Once you could start thinking beyond what the people around you thinking or beyond what you yourself capable of, then you would be expanding yourself. You would be raising yourself to a new height. And I, I think fundamentally that is where a lot of us, yeah. um, you know, fall short because yeah. sometimes you would be talking to somebody, you know, networking with people who are of like mind is also <laughs> important because sometimes you're talking to somebody and you have a really cool idea. And this person now will take it and expand it for you just by saying something, just by adding something, you know, so it's really great to have people around you that also think outside of the box, you know, surround yourself with positivity and that is what will follow you, you know, surround yourself with intelligence and that is what will follow you. You know, a lot of times it's really cool to, you yeah, know, yeah. be with the crew that breaking the rules and, you know, be with the crew that doing, you know, uh, wasteful things you know sometimes it's 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 very cool to be part of that group but it's even more cool to be part of a group that could turn you into somebody that you would be proud of in the future and you know surround yourself with great people and also allow your mind to grow read you know look up things be interested in things you know take the take a take an additional step to know a little bit more you know so, it's really so great to have wide knowledge on things but try digging a little deeper into everything. Don't just take something at face value. I think that part you just now said, you know, set yourself aside from the crowd, you know, be different, you know, is the difference that will make your work more recognized. I think that part to me really, really touched core. And I want you to more emphasize on it because sometimes people think, you know, you're a little different and they feel a bit, you know, um, peculiar, you know, eccentric, but there is always reasons, you know, for your difference, you understand? It's not that you are different from everyone, it's just that you have your own uniqueness that could be add, you know, that could add value to your life. So I want you just more to elaborate on that because I think that statement touched a lot, a lot, a lot. You need to think big, you know, think outside of the box, you know, mm -hmm. don't be the usual be be proud of your weirdness embrace your weirdness embrace embrace your eccentricity it means yeah. you're a little bit weird but it's a good weird yeah is the weird mm -hmm. that would aid you in creating facebook right. is the weird yes. that would aid you in creating instagram is the type of weird that would make you want to have your own private space agency Right? Yes. That is the type of where that we're talking about. And to be able yeah. to be this type of where it is, you, you need to be able to dream. You know, yeah. a lot of times people just downgrade or try to be derisive towards dreamers. They'll be like, you're a dreamer. That's okay. It means that mm -hmm. your mind is aware of things that other people's minds aren't That's aware of. I could agree right? with that. There you go. And once you could dream something, you can achieve it. If you yeah. can't even think of something, then there's no way 
that you'll be able to achieve it. If you don't know that you can make a million dollars, then there's no way that you could even try to make a million dollars. If yeah. you don't know that there is, let's say there is oil in the, in your backyard, under the ground in your backyard. If you never take an oil detector and go and check to see if it have oil there, you would never know it's there. Yeah. That is how dreams work. Dreams allow you to see what is possible. And the more that you could create a, an environment where your mind could wander and, and add and use logic and create instances, create dreams, create new aspirations for yourself. Yes. That is where it begins. It begins with you. Don't expect anybody else to give you dreams. I mean, a lot of people, let's say, you know, you're selling my dreams. Don't allow people to sell you their dreams. You need to yes. create your dreams and find what people dreams? that have similar dreams to you. And you exactly. all work together and grow together. You know, exactly. because I think fundamentally, you know, we live in a, we live in a very busy world. Mm -hmm. And... We live in a world where it's cool to be just part of the group. It's cool to be part of the wastefulness. It's cool to be just like, you know, whatever. Yes. You know, everybody yeah. is like, whatever. Yeah. You don't need to be that person. You can I be like the person that is, you know what? Let me do a little extra. Yeah. You know? And Aaron, sorry to interject. I remember being in Form 4. And uh -huh. you know, the teacher passed around a paper and she was like, say, who's the most prettiest girl in the class? Describe uh -huh. who's the most educated girl in the class. And I remember uh -huh. on that paper, Alicia Nelson, Alicia Nelson, Alicia Nelson, Alicia Nelson. And I remember a girl took my paper and they, 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 they passed it around. And uh -huh. only a look, no. So I understand where you come. It's good to be unique and different. But you Absolutely. have to believe in you. So now to my audience, we have, um, now we have a piece played by Kyle Toon, which is Aaron George. Um, the name of the piece is Happy New Year 2019. And Aaron, I want to say when I first heard this piece, I was, oh my God, I could just dance like crazy because I love the beat the rhythm it was a nice vibe to start the year 2019 and i just like how everything was just put together just in your own in just in your own unique way so i'm going to play this to the listening audience guys and i hope you do enjoy happy new year new year new year new year happy new year new year new year New Year 2019 All of the best All of the best We wish you all of the best All of the best We wish you love and success Love and success We wish you love and success All of the best Happy New Year i 
blessing. All your blessing. Me send you all your blessing. Learn all the lessons. Me send you all God blessing. All God blessing. Yeah, all God blessing. Hope you learn all the lessons. by Aaron George I must say I really love it Aaron George and it, it's 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 I love it it's love and success you know I love the vibes but I want to say what really really inspire you with this piece you know with the beat with the rhythm everything what inspired you so essentially why I would have written the um happy new year 2019 song you know coming out of 2018 it's, it was just a matter of looking back at, you know, all of the successes that we have had, all the various struggles and ups and downs that we would have gone through and overcome in 2018, coming into 2019, you know, and it just kind of encouraging people to have an awesome 2019, you know, continue in the upward trend, you know, upward and onward. And, um... As the song would have said, you know, all of the best, you know, we wish you love and success. So it's like, you know what, guys, we had a really good year last year. Let's have an even better year this year. You know, let's move forward with blessings. Let's move forward with good vibes, positivity. Everybody helps somebody. You know, teamwork makes the dream work. So that's, that's essentially the sentiments that you know, I wanted to express in that song. It actually started as a freestyle that I was just kind of vibing with while I was creating the instrumental. And um, I was, uh, well, I said to myself that, you know, it sounded good enough to be recorded. I was like, you know what, let me record this. It's January 1st. I'm doing this instrumental here. It sounds really good. I came up with something kind of 2019 sounding. And, you know, it could be a little catchy because the beat, you know, is pretty nice. And, um, I was planning to put the beat out as a rhythm, and I was like, you know what, this could be really good advertising for the beat. It could also be a really nice song for people to come into the new year with. And so said, so done, and that's what happened. I, I really wasn't expecting it to get that much of a, um, I guess that much traction, but um, yeah. And it achieved all of the goals that I think I envisaged for it. Um, in, initially, in that, you know, I have a lot of people that are on standby for when the, the actual instrumental is going to be released to put music on it. And um, we had it on a podcast from some people in Australia. We had some people playing it on their, um, in their sets in, like, DJs and so on. And for, like, New Year's parties and that type of thing. It was a very kind of niche vibe. And, um, yeah, it, 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 did, uh, it did more than I thought it would as a freestyle, you know. And um, I think that that encapsulated what the song was about. You know, that was the inspiration for the song. You know, just to give people some hope, just to give people a little, you know, shake a leg while you're singing blessings on your life and on your situation and on your year. And, you know, that of your family and friends. So that was the response of Aaron George. I want to say, Aaron, I really like that response. And you keep doing what you doing. You know, it's 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 really good. It's inspiring. It's motivational. Just keep doing what you are doing. The final words, you know, I hope that you keep doing the amazing work that you're doing. Um, if Thank anyone you. wants to reach out to us, you know, they can get us on Facebook, on Instagram, on YouTube. Yeah. In a Sanctum Studios, in a Sanctum One Word Studios, or in a Sanctum Entertainment Limited, in a Sanctum One Word. So, you know, you can check us out, connect, network. Um, you know, we could see how we could help check each other. Out, guys. Uh, 
that would be awesome. Yeah. On behalf of Keeping It Real, Alicia Nelson, Aaron George, I want to thank you so much for the information you had bestowed uh, onto me about the work that you have done, what you have done in your community, the music you have produced, the children you have helped. I really, really want to say I really, truly appreciate having you on this podcast tonight. It was such a pleasure. I have learned a lot and not only has I have gained knowledge too as well, I've also gained enthusiasm to go strong and to pursue goals and dreams. So Aaron, I want to say thank you again. Thank you so much for being on my podcast. So guys, if you did love this podcast, always remember to subscribe to my YouTube channel. This is very important. Subscribe to my channel, Keeping It Real, Alicia Nelson. Look out for me on Anchor. Look out for me on Instagram. Look out for me on Facebook. And guys, always remember to subscribe to my channel and comment, like, and share. Bye-bye. Happy New Year, New Year, New Year. New Year, Happy New Year, New Year, New Year, New Year 2019, 19, 19, 19, 2019, 19, 19, 19. All of the best, all of the best, we wish you all of the best, all of the best, we wish you love and success, love and success, we wish you love and success. All of the best. Happy New Year, New Year, New Year, New Year, Happy New Year, New Year, New Year, New Year, 2019, 19, 19, 19, 2019, 19, 19, 19. All your blessing, all your blessing, me send you all your blessing. Learn all the lessons, me send you all God blessings All God blessings, yeah all God blessings Hope you learn all the lessons Happy New Year, New Year, New Year, New Year Happy New Year, New Year, New Year, New Year 2019, 19, 19, 19, 2019, 19, 19 Yeah, all God blessings. Hope you learn all the lessons.